welcome, friends, to another episode of Your Show and Tell. We're talking leather jackets. We're passionate about leather jackets. In the first episode, uh, I was telling my story how I got into it, and um, you might be looking at my collection thinking, you know, 25 years. Dude, I would think you'd have more by now. But you know, it's been uh, quite a journey. I'm uh, of a uh, thought that everything should have a purpose. I'm a thought of having less but better quality. I'm a thought of using things. So over, over 25 years, I constantly, you know, trimmed my collection uh, and kept pieces that special to me. So um, you're viewing 25 years of collecting history pared down to this. So today, I, I just want to talk about a different type of leather. And again, I'm not getting paid. Again, this is just my opinion. I don't know everything. And uh, my opinion is not necessarily right. And all the jackets we have here in my personal collection. So the most I should start the most common leather, obviously, is the cow. But um, getting into uh, a little bit better leather, steer height. So steer height, he is a beautiful example of steer height. This is shot uh, 613S. Um, S stands for slim, it's a, it's a Japan uh, uh, market only jacket i think now it is available in north america but uh when he when, when it was first uh, released was only for japanese market so it's slim and um it's a beautiful beautiful steer hide now steer hide is uh, a leather from male cow steer and uh, steer hide is is a durable leather uh, it's quite um, uniform in um, in grain and obviously this is um, chrome tan as well so chrome tannin creates further uniformity as well um, so steer height beautiful example of that now horse height now horse height uh, here is the my own design uh, been released uh, this coming September um, so horse height horse height is beautiful it's beautiful for a couple reasons it's more expensive leather um, it seems that um, there is more attention and more care goes in in raising an animal so there is less you know imperfections in leather but also it has a totally different feel it has this incredible ability to take on character to mold to your body to um, you know, develop patina, especially when it's uh, vegetan. It's got a beautiful smell. I can I can smell this leather. It's just just beautiful. You can see the back. You can see the the shine, and you know the weight is just so beautiful. Another leather is lamb. This, this jacket I've had it for for a while, as you can see. This is um, jacket by Diesel that, uh, you know, has developed this stunning patina. Absolutely stunning patina. And, and you know, high-end lambskin will do that. You know, one difference that uh, you can see, you know, it takes on a lot of character, but it doesn't have the same ability to um, increase and capture those creases. But uh, otherwise, you know, the, 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 the leather is, very soft it's the lightest weight uh, leather so it's perfect for you know cool summer evening spring time and um, you can see how the high-end lamb skin will will just age and pattern it just to perfection i wanted to show you this vest so uh, this vest is made uh, from Sherlin, and Sherlin is a sheepskin that uh, has um, 
maintained the fur on it as well. This is a piece that's been made um, in collaboration. Siemens built an iron heart and it's absolutely stunning. You can see the, the sheen, the weight, the style is just absolutely beautiful and <laughs> really, really warm. You know, I live in the uh, most southern part of Canada and you know, the winters don't get that cold here. So I can only, you know, rock the, the vest. The jacket would have been just too, too, too warm. Now, this type of um, leather, is a sheepskin. So sheepskin is a mature sheep, you know, versus lambskin. So it's a little bit thicker. And as a result, you know, it has this incredible ability to create character. You know, my own personal preference, this will be a second choice after horse hide because you can see it right in the sleeves, uh, how much creasing it it, it's able to um, capture and um, the, the, the character is just absolutely stunning. Again, this is a pretty high-end, you know, fashion, fashion leather jacket is in sheep skin. You know, a couple other skins that, um, leathers that I should mention uh, that I don't have it uh, in, in my collection, I used to, is uh, goat skin. Goat skin is again, excellent um, lighter choice um, ghost skin was uh, quite fav favorably used in uh, aviation like a2 uh, leather jackets uh, in pilot jackets and uh, it's great leather that's able to over years uh, create just a beautiful beautiful character um, some other leathers we have um, more exotic is something like bison you know, bison is, um, is a more exotic leather that has quite a, um, a pebbly type of grain. Uh, and also deer skin. Deer skin, um, it's something that was uh, quite uh, popular in, in uh, 60s and 70s. It's one of the strongest leathers. Um, um, it's able to uh, take on rain really well and um, maintain that sort of um, uh, new character for one time so um, yeah here it is all the different types of leather so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that uh, made sense to you and seeing it in person made a difference to you so thank you so much friends for tuning in and I hope that you will check out the next video thank you and bye bye